Hello everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about suicide. Um, so I, this past weekend has made me so drained it's not even funny. Um, so I found out about a family, family member of mine who has to do chemotherapy um, coming up and I've been worried about them. Then, um, I just got a message from a friend on Saturday and it was very, very hard for me because, um, I, this is somebody that I've known for 20 plus years. Um, his mom, I used to be really good friends with, um, she used to do my hair and stuff too and she had cancer and I helped her take a bath and stuff sometimes when I was younger and she died at the age that I am now, actually, around 36 or 37. So me and this kid have been through a lot over the years. And I'm getting a message from him on Saturday saying, um, Hi, Ashley, you know, um, I'm just messaging you to tell you my goodbyes um, and that you were a really good friend to me and that... Um, uh, but I needed to say that before I go because I've been really suicidal and I did get help from the hospital, but they kicked me out in 24 hours. Um, so they only let me stay there for about a day. So um, I'm just letting you know in case um, anything happens that um, I love you and you were a good friend. I'm like trying to message this person and they're not messaging me back. So then I'm starting to freak out that they took their life. So I called the police and I told them what happened and I, we tried to track them down and they found an address, but it was an old address because the place that the, this person li was living at was abandoned. So, um, I, the, this person, after a really long time of talking to them, finally called me on the phone and I was actually able to talk to talk them down, so to speak. And this person um, ended up telling me what was going on, why they wanted to take their life, why they were so angry, why they were mad. And um, they actually, at the end of the conversation, was saying that they were okay. So I, a couple days later, I I checked in. I messaged and see if this person was still okay and obviously to see if they were still alive and stuff like that and they messaged me back so everything seems to be okay as of now but I just wanted to put this video on here to let everybody know that when you tell somebody that you're gonna hurt yourself or try to kill yourself or um, anything like that um, it's, it's nothing to mess around with if you're, if you're not meaning it because people that really care about you will take it seriously. Um, and uh, obviously to the people on the outside who, are, who get receive these messages, um, regardless if the person actually means it or not, you always want to take it seriously because you, you never know if somebody's actually going to do something. Um, so sometimes people just want to know that they're loved and cared about, you know? So that's why I haven't really been doing a whole lot of my videos because I've just been stressed with, um, worrying about my family member, um, worrying about my friend, if they're going to be okay and wondering if they're going to actually pull through and do something stupid. And, um, I've just been kind of not feeling very well either with my thyroid levels. I think they're really off. Um, so my message today is just, you know, be there for a friend and take suicide seriously. And, um, even if you, if you're unsure if somebody is actually going to pull through and kill themselves or not, um, contact the proper authority, contact a hospital, contact the police, contact whoever you need to to get the, the person help because suicide is very serious obviously and we don't want to be losing people that we love um, and and we don't want to regret 
you know, getting them help. Um, so those are some places to call, you know, call family members or friends of, of that person or the hospital or the cops. And if they can't help you, they'll direct you where to go. Um, but, uh, there's also like 1-800 numbers too that people can call and talk to somebody, um, if you don't have family or friends. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to get on and talk to you guys about what happened to me on Saturday. Um, and it was a very, very scary thing. Uh, I, when I called the police, uh, it was a woman I talked to. She asked me all what was, what was said back and forth. So I told her and then, um, of course I started crying when I told her the message about him saying goodbye. And then another officer got a hold of me um when they went to the address hold on a moment sorry i had to grab my my little toddler um but another police officer had called me and told me that they went to the address um of my friend and it, yeah like i said earlier in the video the house was abandoned so there was nothing really we could do um except for for now my we know that my friend is okay as of now um, because I heard his voice, he called me, but we'll see, and um, if anybody else is going through a similar situation, um, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to um, hear what happened and hear what you did to help, um, and I would love to, for you to share any other advice that um, you have to give that I didn't give. Um, so, um, that's it for today and I will be on with another life topic.